Hey everybody, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you had a great uh, Christmas if you celebrate. Happy Kwanzaa to those that celebrate. Um, I'm enjoying this little time to myself and my time off. Uh, my son got me an air fryer. Everybody keeps ch telling me to change my life. His uh, other grandmother, was, she's a vegan. She's like, I cook everything in there. My son was like, mom, is it, you going to love it. I cook steaks in there. So I'm skeptical. I'm very skeptical, but I am going to attempt to try it out today. Okay. I'm going to try to cook some chicken up in there. I'm going to see. All right. Uh, so if y'all have air fries, let me know what y'all cook up in there because I'm I'm just kind of a little skeptical, okay? I like to use oil with my chicken, but I am going to try a different way. Also, I got HBO Max for a month. I had like a free promo code that my cousin gave me, and so I'm going to wear that out. I have watched all of Insecure again. Um, this morning, I was up watching The Wire again, all right? String a bell in them, and I'm going to wear out uh, all month because uh, come time i'm gonna cancel that shit because i am not paying the 14.99 i am not doing it but i'm definitely gonna enjoy the rest of this time off but besides all of that um on christmas day i saw some some foolishness foolishness was happening all over the internet on christmas you think people would be more peaceful but apparently not and um king von's sister kayla got dragged on christmas day why did she get dragged, you may ask? She got dragged because of the Christmas gift that she decided to give her son, okay? So on her Instagram, she had this post where she said, Merry Christmas, LOL, and this is not a real gun. Now, this is just a still shot, but she was literally pointing this Glock 19, it was just, it's a BB gun, at her son, and they just giggling and stuff like that. And uh, that went viral. And she also um, had some stuff on her Insta story uh, basically showing her little boy, they call him grandbaby, uh, opening the gun. All right. Opening the, the toy gun, if you will, it's a BB gun. And he was so excited to do that. And, and when all of this went viral, if you will, because a lot of the different blogs picked it up and they were dragging her, like, why would you give him a toy gun? And, and even just the way he was holding it, because I'm looking at her Insta story and do, little boy, clearly had experience like he just knew exactly what to do and no surprise okay being that his um his uncle was king von no surprise at all um i wasn't surprised that he knew how to do it. i mean the little boy just was holding it he put it in his pants like it was not i mean it was just kind of crazy to me and she even posted on her insta story <clears throat> she said at grandbaby i didn't know he knew this much von used to teach him I used to just turn, like she used to just kind of turn her head and she's laughing about it. So naturally the blogs picked it up, right? And people had their opinions. They were dragging her like, again, why would you get this little boy that he's so young? Why would you teach them that? And Kayla decided to clap back at everybody. And here's what she said, y'all listen to this. Hey, y'all need to get off our dick. Mm, y'all said be talking about some, don't let him go outside because the police are shooting. First off, the only time he can play with this is in his backyard. I don't live in the ghetto like you bitches. We don't see police. In a nice neighborhood. Like, get the fuck on. Mama, you see my back? Don't worry about how I raise my child. This little boy is running around here wearing skirts, playing with Barbie dolls, wearing heels and shit. But y'all worried about my child playing with a toy gun. But if my child was around here wearing skirts and shit, playing with dolls, y'all would be saying other shit right. Man, y'all business. That's y'all problem. It's Christmas. Shouldn't y'all be watching y'all kids open gifts? Or shouldn't y'all be opening y'all gifts? Like, worried about what we doing up over here because we good. Like, don't worry about what we do. For real. Before I get started on what she said, Kayla strikes me as the type of girl that pours hot Cheetos in a bowl and pours milk over them and eat them like cereal and probably chases it down with a red bull. So I don't really put too much stock into anything she says. She She's just a bird. She, she has very bird-like behaviors, if you will. A short but shorty, if you will. Um, now, there's a few things to unpack here. First things first, let me ask you guys right off the bat. What do you think about a toy gun as a Christmas present, even in this day and age, as we live in this day and age, what do you think about giving, giving her son something like this? At the end of the day, she's right. This is her kid. That's her child. 
Yes. But giving your kid a present that looks this real, because 90% of the population can't tell the difference. Lord knows I couldn't. All right. Now let's unpack some of the stuff that she said here, because it's, it's, it's a bit problematic here. First things first, it's funny how folks get a little bit of money and all of a sudden they ain't like us. Like y'all broke asses. We don't live like y'all. That's kind of funny because homegirl just got a, a few dollars in her pocket for the last couple of years or so. She she literally just got some money. And now she basically calling everybody else broke. And that she ain't the same like y'all. Her son ain't like y'all. That's kind of funny. But um, her trying to equate the two is just silly to me. But before I get into that, this is what made whatever she tried to say null and void to me. She posted this meme. It was like boys in the hood with her son superimposed and it photoshopped in it and somebody else made it, but she's laughing at it. And this is why I think she's a bird. Now, there are parents out there who strongly believe in gun rights. They're little white kids that be that, that learn how to use guns safely out here. They go out, the parents take them out in the field, in the country, and they be doing target practice. They teach them. They take them to the range. At a certain age, I think that you can take your kid to the range. There's black parents that do the same thing. So if the purpose is to teach gun safety and education to someone who will eventually own a gun, who, what am I to say, right? Who am I to judge on that? if you are doing it safely, because we know so many kids, how many times do we hear time after time after time, some kids got a hold to a gun and they didn't, they didn't kill their little sister by accident, they killed a little brother by accident, shot themselves in the face by accident. We hear it over and over and over again. But she, this, this, I don't think that that's what she does because the video that went viral is her dumb ass pointing the goddamn toy BB gun, the Glock 19 at her son. She pointed in it laughing. So that tells me everything I need to know about Kayla. That tells me that Kayla ain't interested in teaching her son gun safety and gun education. Her idea of gun safety is he'll play in the backyard with it. He won't leave the house with it. That's not gun safety. And yes, again, I know that this is not a real gun, but hell, who could tell the difference if his ass walks outside? Who could tell the difference if his ass walks outside with it? Has she not heard of Tamir Rice and what happened to that young child? He, he, he didn't even, the, the cops pulled up on him in like, what, less than three seconds that kid was down because they thought he had a real gun. So, so why would you set your kid up for that kind of bullshit? Yes, it would be nice if black kids and white kids could both, you know, have the same kind of experiences with stuff like that, but they don't. They don't. And why would you set your kid up? for this dumb shit. It's just so stupid. That's why I said she is such a bird. She's a bird. So I went back and I listened to what she was saying and she was trying to basically uh, conflate the two different things like apples and oranges to me. She's like, well, you know, you know, you know, you have little boys and dresses and skirts and heels and, you know, and, and, and why can't my little boy, you know, have a gun? And I'm just like, why is she trying to put the two together they don't but then I tried to go into the mind of a bird and I said well maybe what she is attempting to say is if why is this over here acceptable but this isn't but here's the thing Kayla um little boys the last time I checked little boys in skirts and um if they have them little boys walking around in in heels and skirts ain't killed nobody ain't grow up to kill nobody if I, I not that I know of but what this little boy is doing and what I've seen Vaughn teaching him before Vaughn, you know, got killed is basically thuggery. Vaughn would have this little boy teaching him how to cuss and say F this F, you know, dissing dead people, literally dissing dead people. Vaughn was basically making this little boy a little mini me, Right. And I saw the little boy with the gun and he putting it in his pants and he hold. And I'm just like, this kid knew, knew a little too much. He knew a little too much. And again, the first thing they would teach you in gun safety is not to put it in your pants. That's what his, that's what his uncle taught him. So Kayla, 
all this bullshit, that's just, it's all of that, what you said, it's just bullshit, it's null and void, and you think it was funny just by the meme that you was posting, you thought this shit is funny, you, this, she, she reminds me of the type of woman who basically wants her son to grow up to be the kind of man she would want to date, and for her, and maybe in her mindset, a little boy or a man knowing how to use a gun is, is manhood, that makes him a man man, that makes him a real man, and that's kind of how I take what she's trying to put out because other than that I don't see the 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 correlation between little boys and heels and skirts and 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 what the fuck she's trying to say it just sounded dumb as hell to me to me right and again if her whole point was about gun safety and education which again people do and they have the right to teach their kids if that's what they want to teach their kids that would be one thing but that's not what Kayla owned she just not so just so she sounds stupid her pointing the gun at the little boy on the video laughing at it then what what if he go and point that shit at somebody else and giggling what what then what and then i ain't even mentioned the elephant in the room here her brother just died not two months ago from gun violence the very time that he decides to use his hands he gets shot down with a gun and lose his life you would think this would be triggering as hell to her you would think she would be completely triggered by this but clearly she's not but then again you know if you grow up around that shit some stuff just don't hit you like other things right so maybe it's just like it's just numb she's numb to it who knows who knows but you would think that that would be triggering to her considering she just lost her her brother to this shit you would just think so but apparently not y'all i don't know but um i i just I, I just think it's silly. Like, what, what happened to the little Nerf guns with the little orange balls, right? What, what happened to all of that? But buying him a Glock 19 BB gun that looks as real as the real thing, it just seems like it's a recipe for disaster. So she's right. That's her kid, right? She is right. That is her child, and she can do whatever she want with her child. But listen, Kayla, I'm just telling you, this kind of shit comes with consequences. It really do. Trying to teach him to grow up to be like his uncle, it comes with consequences, but... Um, on the other side of town, y'all, while Kayla was getting dragged by all the people on Christmas Day, um, Vons, uh, the, ba the mothers of his children and Asian doll spent Christmas together. Vons' family, actually, it was his, I believe his mother was there, his cousins was there, everybody was there having a good old time, and they was just celebrating the holidays together, you know, and it was good to see. It was, it's so good to see, to see those two women come together and raise their kids together because ever since Vaughn died I've been seeing those babies together all the time and I think it's beautiful and now you got age in there you got his whole family there and I think it's great now Kayla I think felt some type of way about that you know because I think Kayla feels some type of way when anybody else got Vaughn's attention right and because she's the one that's kind of confirming she's the one that's been out here kind of spreading this whole idea that Vaughn do in fact got another baby on the way so when all of those women was over there choosing peace and maturity, this is what Kayla posted Christmas evening. Baby mama straight, you know they hate her at Skylar Night. Now, who is they? My guess is she was referring to all the happy folks over there enjoying Christmas. Because um, I told you videos ago that the rumor was is that Vaughn has another baby on the way, right? And um, his cousin, his first cousin, is saying that's BS, that Vaughn did not have another baby on the way. I don't know. I don't know. Time will certainly tell. Time tells all. But Kayla felt some type of way, and she decided to do that. I know Kayla was just feeling, she, she was just like in misery. You know, and again, let me, let me say this. The girl lost somebody important to her, right? And she's probably dealing with it too. But she seems to choose messiness more than anything. And so... As she stated, that is her kid. She's entitled to do whatever she wants with her kid. But Kayla, you have to understand that consequences come with that, right? Consequences come with a little boy walking around. You know, little boys, again, little boys who walk around in skirts and, 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 and heels, they might bother people so metaphorically, but they ain't out here being a menace to society and killing folk, right? Uh when I see the news, when I turn on the Chicago news all the time, it's usually little boys like that with the little, you know, your, your son with the little Glock 19 that grow up to be killers, right? Not the other way around, not the other boys, right? 
So what do y'all think about this whole thing and her uh, buying her son that for Christmas? What, 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 do you, what do you think about what she said about equating the two, you know, little boys in skirts and dresses and boys with little guns? What do you think about this? I just came on here to ask y'all, and um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Let me know what you think. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See y'all. Bye.